Welcome back to a brand new weekly reading vlog. Um, weekly, probably not. I think you just saw some footage from Sunday. It's Friday. Yeah, so I've been reading. That's a good thing. But I haven't been reading that much, which is probably the reason why I haven't vlogged that much. Because I am currently reading One for My Enemy by Olivia Blake. I am on page 180 and there are almost 400 pages in here. So I am almost halfway through this book and I must say I, I'm absolutely adoring it. It is insanely beautiful and the writing is amazing but the thing with Olivia Blake's books is that it takes me a week to read it because I have to be more concentrated than usual. English is not my native language, so when it's a more elaborated writing, it takes me a bit more time to read it. Uh, I think The Atlas 6 took me a week to read, so I think this one is going to take me a week to read as well. I think I started it on Monday, so we'll see. I am trying to finish this by the end of the week so by Sunday uh, and tomorrow I'm going to the Louvre with my friend and I'm gonna read she's gonna draw I'm gonna read so yeah uh, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try really hard but I'm loving this I just uh, it's just so powerful you know if you've if you've read an Olivia Blake's book you know it's it's so powerful so yeah uh, I'm gonna try and and read a lot to finish this book but on some other news, I finally received, after a few <sighs> terrible events, I received my Gallant copy, um, Waterstones edition. It's the first time that I've ordered on Waterstones and I will never do it again. Not because of Waterstones, but because of my delivery company that are the worst. Apparently, it's really difficult to ring a bell. It's so small, like it's really small. It's like the size of my hat. So yeah, this is Gallant and it's a very beautiful special edition. And I ordered this not knowing that I will receive it in my limit rate. But here it is. It's so pretty. I love it. There are some end papers. I think it's, it's the book I'm gonna read next. Signed. It's really nice. And I saw there was some illustration in there. So that's it for this little update. I really need to read because I really want to finish the book by the end of the week. I hate spending a week on a book. It makes me mad. So I'm going to try really hard. Anyways, that's it for this little update. So I'm going to try and read. Um, and I will update you guys at some point. As always. And I will obviously see you tomorrow at the Louvre. And yeah, bye.
être tu es actuellement aux toilettes du Louvre on fait une vidéo surprise j'espère que, que tu apprécieras j'espère que tu es très heureuse d'être avec nous même si ta main était magnifique <rire> très bon croquis pour un premier croquis It is Tuesday and I was just home depressing because the weather is terrible. You cannot see obviously. You can't really see. I, I can't even say it's grey. It's yellow outside. It's so weird. It's like a layer of clouds. Well you can't see the sky basically. We're actually used to it in Paris but that's fine. But yeah it's raining and it's so depressing and it's so dark in here and I was just like well let's just stop depressing let's make this day a good day and a cozy day so I'm gonna make some tea I'm gonna read I am currently reading an arc that is The Dragon's Promise by Elizabeth Lim I believe it is the second book of Six Crimson Cranes which I am quite liking for now if you remember I absolutely hated <laughs> Uh, six rooms and cranes. Uh, it was, yeah, just boring and lame, but that's fine. Uh, but this one, I am quite enjoying. And I'm 20 person into this book, so yeah. Um, I'm making my way very slowly, but very surely. Uh, I wasn't home yesterday all day, so I didn't read that much. Also, I am currently reading the first volume of Spy Family, uh, which is a manga, and which I am quite loving but yeah I'm, I'm just gonna concentrate on the arc so I'm gonna make myself some tea we're gonna take some blankets and yeah we're gonna try to spend a nice day well to make a nice day out of this very gloomy raining day good luck Guys, this is so funny. Do you know when I told you it was yellow outside? There's a fucking sandstorm. <laughs> there is a sandstorm in Paris. Who knew? Who knew this could happen? Well, actually, it's in the entire country, not just in Paris. There is a sandstorm coming from Sahara. It's yellow. It's yellow. Guys, oh wow, she looks terrible. I received a package. I just came back from work. As you can see, I'm still all dressed up. Just came back from work and I received a little package that comes from Queen Van Selen. Let's just open it together, right? Also, oh, do you know what? I thought I was talking with my earpods. <laughs> They're not working. Um, also, I am going to the cinema today to watch Jujutsu Kaisen the movie which I'm so excited for 
and also going to the restaurant tonight with my friends and we're gonna eat um oh i can't say that fondue <laughs> i don't know how you say that in english i suppose you say it the french way fondue fondue uh yeah so yeah gonna eat that tonight really excited so let me put you down and you can't see me so basically the package here was a pre-order um gift giveaway thing actually you can see me that now and you have to pre-order the book and she would um give you these things that are i believe a bookmark three um character cards and a sticker and a little sticker with a signature on it and yeah so basically that was it and so i pre-ordered the book but unfortunately um my order never shipped like it has never been shipped and still last week no news from this package so i had to cancel my pre-order but i told her so here are oh my god do you know what the cards i thought they were smaller at some point i thought they were really small because i saw a story and and the person let me put you back here the person who who opened the package she oh yeah okay do you, oh my god that's so cool you have a little you have small cards and big cards my man is looking fine he's looking so fine Or maybe I received more. I have two signatures and like three stickers and two all the stickers and what is going on? Okay. I think she gave me more. <laughs> and actually I did you know when you you say what you want for the signature and I just said nothing, just gave my name and that was all. And she actually wrote, thank you for all your early support on it, which is so nice. Here it is. I am so happy. And the quote is Fenelis at Mortem, which is Latin. I learned Latin at some point at uni and then I was like, no. So I don't know. And then there is this one that says, dragons need not fear all the dragons. And this one is golden. The other one was like, um, rose gold. I don't know. I think she gave me more. She's the nicest person on earth. What the fuck? And then, I think she really did that because the cards, I swear they were smaller and I have the small version and I have the big version of them. Why not? Thank you. Then we have these little stickers that are so beautiful actually. And it says Curia Monstrorum. And I have three of these. Oh, I kind of feel like, should I talk about it on the socials? Am I allowed to say that she actually gave me more? I don't know. <laughs> and we have all the stickers. That is so cool. It's so beautiful. And it says, welcome to the monster court. I think these are stickers here. Oh my god. This is so pretty. The detail is amazing. Love that. Then we have the little big mark that says only a monster on it which i'm so happy to have i'm gonna i swear i'm gonna dedicate an entire shelf for this book i swear uh these are the little um no character cards so this is my man looking absolutely fine as you can see he's gorgeous he's the best he's Aaron and he's blonde and he loves fashion. That's when you know he's a good character. <laughs> so yeah, this is Nick, I believe it is. Nick. Oh gosh, I just can't remember the names. Let's say Nick. <laughs> oh yeah, it says, what? Why am I so stupid? It's, it's literally written on the card, Nick Ward. Why am I doing this? <laughs> well, this is Nick. He's looking fine as well. 
Yeah. And this is Jaren, the best, the queen. She beautiful. And then I have these huge <laughs> cards that I'm not. I don't. I've never. I, I don't think I've seen people show it on on their Instagram stories. So I'm kind of like, what? I don't know. <laughs> these are huge. So these are the same, but huge ones. And that is it. And now I feel overwhelmed. I was in a bad mood. <laughs> And then I saw my postman putting the envelope in my in my book mail. I was just like, I think this is it. <laughs> and that made me really happy. I'm so happy, but I, I feel like I don't know why I received this much. Well, thank you. <laughs> and if you still haven't read on the monster, do it now. You'll thank me. Okay, so I'm gonna leave uh, my house. I need. I don't know if I can put you in my pocket or if I should bring it back because my bag is a teeny tiny purse. And if I take my camera, I usually bring my tote with me. Do you know what? I'm. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna take my tote and we'll see. So. I'm gonna leave. We are going first of all to the store uh, because my friend needs to buy a manga, I think. And we'll go to the cinema. Our um, viewing, is that how you call it? Is at 3.30. So it's like 1.30. We have two hours to kill. And then after that, we are going to the restaurant. So I'll I'm obviously bringing you along with me and I hope that you will enjoy this little afternoon and I'm so excited to see Jujutsu Kaisen and I'm so ready to cry. I did, do you know what, this morning I wanted to put eyeliner on and then I was just like, no Julie, you're gonna cry in the cinema. It's gonna be black all over your eyes, you can't do that. So I decided not to go for the eyeliner. I'm ready to cry. Uh, let's take some tissues. this vlog and I realized that I did not end it um, so you haven't heard from me in a while um, so let me talk about each thing that happened in this vlog that I did not update you with uh, the first one being that I DNF'd well actually first DNF'd the dragon's promise and then I read vicious um, let me grab it for you I read vicious I didn't update you on this one but I loved it so much. I loved the writing. It's, I feel like the plot isn't that interesting. I mean, the plot is weak, you know, it's not that interesting, but because the writing is so good and that you're literally under tension the entire bit because you do not know what's going to happen, what happened. And she plays, v Schwab plays with the flashbacks and she's, she's amazing at this and honestly just loved it so much i loved how morally gray the characters are like so <laughs> they're so insanely morally gray that you do not know if you can love them or not but you kind of do like both of them actually um it was so 
amazing and I'm really excited to read this second book which is Vengeful and I think it's going to be a series like there is a third book that will be coming out very soon which I'm really excited for as well but yeah really loved it I think I gave it four stars and then I decided to pick up um, The Dragon's Promise again and to try to read it which I did and I realized it was the last book <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a duology I didn't know so I realized it was the last book actually and I didn't like it I just didn't like it uh, this is the complete opposite of, of Vicious Vicious is really interesting because it's morally great the plot is intense just concerning the characters you know they're really morally gray you always question question them and question their choices and what they do and who they are and how they, they became this way you know i mean it's really interesting like you want to know how it happened what like what happened for them to be like that now which is not the case in the dragon's promise it is a really ya book like really ya like a 14 year old person would love that i didn't know it. i'm 22 years old i love something more deep um it was not it's just really lame like really i didn't like it i give it two stars oh, i don't know i i don't like to be shady like that but honestly the characters are not interesting there is no depth to them um the plot is basic the ending was predictable nothing amazing so yeah then concerning the movie Jujutsu Kaisen here we're gonna have some good things to say apart from the fact that it was long and I'm not used to watch movies <laughs> there were strawberries um apart from the fact that it was long and I I'm not used to watch movies honestly like even a tv show if the the episodes are like 40 minutes long or more I I just can't I just can't it's like I become mad because I just need to do something it's too long I can't which is why animas are the best because it's 20 minutes long and it's just so interesting it's always moving always something happening uh, there's a fight and then <laughs> there are like some plot twists and all of that I love animas uh, and I'm used to movies like animas movies that are like one hour long and that's all or one hour and ten minutes long that's all well just Sakai guys and what's actually almost two hours long <laughs> at some point in the cinema i was just like it's long <laughs> it's really long also especially because i read the manga before obviously watching the movie and so i knew what was going to happen and so i was kind of like waiting for some things to happen like particular scenes to happen and so because of that sometimes I, I was like restless I needed it to happen and I was just like yeah just skip that we don't care but apart from that the animation was insane like I mean it's my fat it's not a surprise anymore they're so good but honestly that was just so intense the fight scenes are the best I'm thinking of that particular fight scene between Yuta and, and Ghetto, obviously. Mm. Yuta, I think now I've seen it um, in animation and also because of the last scans <laughs> of Jujutsu Kaisen, Yuta has become my favorite character. Well, I, I don't have a favorite character in Jujutsu Kaisen because I just love them all so much. But I think Yuta is definitely like, he has my heart, you know, like he owns me. And here is just there. <laughs> with Rika and so yes um Yuta is definitely amazing in this anime and also the musics are beyond words um I obviously knew the ending like the music for the ending and I cried and they started the music right during a scene that made me cry reading the manga and so let me tell you about this music that makes me feel so emotional every single time I listen to it even before watching the movie this music starting playing right at the moment where I know what's going to be said and where I know it's gonna hurt 
I cried. I cried. I actually didn't cry that much, like I didn't sew or anything, but I, you know, tears were falling, that's for sure. Um, I cried. It was just so amazing. And then the music is so amazing and everything was just so amazing. Definitely recommend you watching this. But so yeah, I think that is all. So I think this vlog is really different from what I'm used to do. Like it's not really centered around reading. I haven't updated you that much. Uh, also, just for you to know, it was a bad week. <laughs> I literally spent the, the entire week in a bad mood and I was feeling so down. And <laughs> so yeah, this is, o this is also why I didn't update you that much because I just didn't want to pick up my camera because I was feeling so bad. <laughs> But I'm fine. No, I was fine. It's just I was in a bad mood, you know. So, yeah. Um, so, I hope you still liked it. I feel like it's kind of more of a Parisian life <laughs> vlog, if I can call it that. Like, we went to the Louvre, um, brought you along with me to Angelina. That is a coffee in Paris. Uh, brought you to the bookstore. Then a sandstorm in Paris, what a day. <laughs> yeah, and then to the cinema and to the restaurant. I didn't vlog that much in the restaurant. I was just having a really good night and I was actually being spoiled. <laughs> My friend spawned me a death in one of the animes I'm watching. She did that. <laughs> but that was a good night of all. So yeah, I hope that you liked this vlog even though it was pretty different. I will obviously see you very soon in another video as always and well until then guys take care bye lovelies mm -hmm.